Copyright Basics Copyright grants a set of exclusive rights to creators, giving them control over copying, distributing, performing, adapting, or otherwise using their work. Copyright law in the United States is grounded in the U.S. Constitution. By granting exclusive rights to creators for limited times, copyright seeks to incentivize the creation of new works, thereby providing a benefit to society at large. This is considered a utilitarian rationale for copyright. In other countries, the purpose of copyright is focused more on the creators themselves, to ensure that they receive attribution for their works and to preserve their works' integrity by preventing unauthorized uses. Copyright covers literary and artistic works. In U.S. copyright law, this category includes a broad range of outputs, books and other writings, musical compositions and sound recordings, dramatic works, choreographic works, pictorial, graphic, and sculptural works including photographs, paintings, and maps, motion pictures and other audiovisual works, architectural works, and computer software, to name a few things. So-called derivative works are also covered by copyright. These include adaptations, such as a movie adaptation of a novel, translations, and arrangements of music. In addition, collections or compilations of literary and artistic works are also copyrighted. It is important to understand that copyright does not protect ideas, only the expression of ideas. Just because you own a copyright in a book that presents an exciting new concept does not mean that you own or control the concept itself. Copyright also does not protect facts, procedures, methods, or processes, lists of ingredients, familiar symbols or designs, work consisting entirely of information that is common property and containing no original authorship. For example, standard calendars, height and weight charts. In addition, Works of the U.S. government are not subject to copyright. Copyright in your work is automatic as soon as it is fixed in a tangible medium, ink on paper, paint on canvas, or bits to a computer file. Registering your copyright is optional. You must register, however, if you wish to bring a lawsuit for infringement of a U.S. work. And, Registered works may be eligible for statutory damages and attorney's fees in successful litigation. In some situations, you may not own the copyright in your work. This might be the case for work created in the course of your employment, or if you created the work as an independent contractor. If you are the co-creator of a work, you are likely a joint owner of the copyright. Copyright is one type of intellectual property. Intellectual property is the term used for rights that allow creators to control the use of their creative works. One common type of intellectual property is trademarks. A trademark is any name, symbol, figure, letter, word, or mark adopted and used to distinguish goods, services, or establishments from competitors in the market. The holder of a trademark may prevent its use by others if the use would cause confusion among the public. Examples of trademarks are McDonald's Golden Arches and Geico's Talking Gecko. Another type of intellectual property is patents. A patent is an exclusive right granted to an inventor allowing the inventor to prevent others from making, selling, or using their invention for a period of time. In order to balance the needs of users with those of rights holders, and to make sure people can utilize copyrighted works for uses in the public interest, copyright law contains a number of exceptions and limitations. Uses of copyrighted works that fall under these exceptions and limitations do not require permission and are not infringements of the creator's copyright. In the United States, some examples of exceptions and limitations to copyright apply to face-to-face -to -face teaching, 
distance education, library copying, public displays, photographs of publicly visible architectural works, and specialized formats for the blind or other persons with disabilities. Many of these exceptions apply only to certain types of work under very specific conditions. In contrast to these specific exceptions is fair use, which permits the use of copyrighted material under some circumstances, especially when the cultural or social benefits of the use are clear. Fair use applies to copyrighted material used for criticism, comment, parody, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is flexible and applies to all types of works. A use is likely to be fair if the material used was transformed and used for a purpose different from that of the original, and if the amount taken was appropriate for the use in question. The public domain consists of creative works that are not subject to copyright. Anyone is free to copy, adapt, and share them without permission. A work can enter the public domain in one of four ways. One, its copyright term expires. This mainly applies to older works. Two, the copyright holder failed to comply with formalities to acquire or, or maintain their copyright. This too mainly applies to older works. Three, the work was never entitled to copyright protection. For example, works created by U.S. government employees. And four, the work's creator dedicated the work to the public domain, for example through Creative Commons CC0 public domain dedication. You can use works in the public domain for any purpose, though best practice is to credit the original creator. Search for works in the public domain on sites like Project Gutenberg, the DPLA, the Internet Archive, Wikimedia Commons, and the Library of Congress. Thank you for watching this video. Here's a list of the sources I consulted to create it. And here is a list of credits for the images I used on the slides.